What you guys today we're taking a look at the PC scam that refuses to die. Registry cleaners. What is the best registry cleaner for Windows 11? This was posted on January the 3rd, 2026. People asking questions about registry cleaners. Registry cleaners are widely considered scams or snake oil because they provide no measurable performance benefits on modern PCs yet they use scare tactics to convince users to purchase their software. Microsoft have also advised users not to use registry cleaners and to stay away from them. And yet, if you search the internet, you'll see articles still being written about registry cleaners, promotion codes, discount codes, all from your favorite tech channel outlets. They're all talking about registry cleaners. And the problem is, this has been going on for many, many years. Modern Windows versions like Windows 10 and Windows 11 are efficient at managing the registry. So having a few thousand unused entries, no noticeable impact on performance. The potential performance gains are insignificant and basically making these tools practically useless for speed improvements. So that's what we're going to be talking about today after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to their website, click the Buy Now button, and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. They will then send you your key, then head over to the activation center, click change paste in your key, click next, and you've just activated your version of Windows. So let's get back to the registry cleaners saga that still continues in 2026. There's loads of them out there. I've just got a few here that I'm going to show you and how they scam people into buying their products. As you can see here, they're using a lot of keywords like PC performance, fix registry errors, fix blue screen error codes, Windows registry repair and system maintenance. Loads of keywords that people are looking for when they're searching on the internet. Make your PC faster, free up space and fix glitches. They'll also put in the promotions of as featured in and these locations down the bottom to try and convince you that it's a decent bit of software. And they all do the same thing. Talk about performance boosting, decluttering the system, fixing all your issues on your system. And you can see right here as well, Windows PC cleanup. And uh, basically talking about the same thing. The benefits of advanced cleanup include uh, prevent crashes, boost performance, erase malware, fix problems, automatic maintenance, and so on. Faster performance up to 30%. Quicker startup time, 79%. Really? It's just a load of nonsense. And of course, it goes without saying they're going to pummel you with loads of pop ups and loads of pups of potentially unwanted programs, which they sometimes embed like this in their installer. And if you don't see it, you're going to see this here optional offers agreement. If you don't, realize what you're doing and you just click accept you're going to start getting bombarded and that's how it works so be careful with this sort of stuff it can break your system so if you think about asking which one is the best or is this one okay to use none of them are okay to use they are snake oil they're no good to your system so the modern Windows system does not benefit from registry cleaners because registry entries are tiny. They're only bytes or kilobytes in size. And even if they're unindexed entries uh, for missing programs, it's simply ignored by the operating system and it doesn't clog up your PC. These files are so small that it's not relevant for today. And you can see they'll try and make you download other applications like Driver Booster and all these other programs that you don't need. This is a brand new, fresh install straight onto a virtual machine. And already you can see we've got privacy traces right here. We're probably going to find junk files on the system when I've not been doing anything on this PC. 
invalid shortcuts uh, registry entries right here or scan this area it normally scans the same locations which are software areas where if you uninstall a piece of software normally some registry files are left behind these are so small that they're not even relevant and they're certainly not going to cause a blue screen of death or problems to your registry cleaning the registry can cause issues and this is where you've got to be careful so there's a significant risk of harm to your windows system because the windows registry is a critical operating system component haphazardly deleting entries in your registry can corrupt your system and your registry and cause programs to crash and even cause the operating system to crash and even render the pc unbootable so the potential damage far outweighs any you know perceived benefits for running programs like this on your pc what they do is give you a placebo of speeding up your pc by inflating figures of 90 percent faster or 70 percent faster and things like this and you can see what it's doing here it's just scanning the system and trying to find uh, you know problems with the computer but there is no problems but people will see all these numbers down here and start panicking and think they've got issues with their system and they'll run this daily and i guarantee you if you run it uh you know every day you'll probably find problems and you can see fix 1523 items to get a cleaner and faster pc 11.1 gigabytes of data has been found and you might think wow well, that's quite a bit and it's probably just finding some old uh, windows update files or an old windows old folder or something like that and it will clean it out and this is where you've got to be careful so when you click on these privacy traces you'll go through here and it's on the browser you can see on microsoft edge and we have some other areas here windows recent these can all be cleaned uh, inside the browser itself you don't need to run programs like this but when you go through you're probably going to see a bunch of entries in here that are not that important every time you browse the internet you're going to have files put into the temporary internet folder it's just what it does and it's always done that but these programs will find those and say they're problems here we have one right here the delivery optimization uh, files 10.7 gigabytes well of course that's going to be there that's to do with your windows updates and the delivery part of it and you can go there and turn that feature off which i've told you to turn off in the past in videos go inside here and what you're going to do is you're going to come down to advanced options right here and go into the delivery options or optimization so down here we should see advanced options delivery optimization click on this and this is what it's cleaning out it's cleaning out allowed downloads from other devices on the network so just turn that off but that's what it's using to try and convince you and registry entries these are all uh, old the old active x that always finds stuff in there and they scan the same places and i guarantee you i could download another program run it and it will still find stuff on the system because that's what they do that's what they're designed to do now the registry cleaner is probably one of the biggest scams that computers have seen because it's constant and it's happening still in 2026 so deceptive marketing practices from these companies like you see many of these free scans report thousands of critical errors to scare users into buying a premium version to fix them and in many cases these errors are harmless and non existent on the system and the software does little to nothing to actually improve your system performance let's take a look at ccleaner another popular brand of registry cleaner or temp file cleaner or junk file cleaner and you can see already it's recommending the avg avast and you have to opt out these are what we call open candy where they're bundling in applications into their application to make you uh, you know install it and this is what they do you can see already 
discontinue with a free version or upgrade to the pro version. If you look down the bottom by clicking the start scan, you give permission for this app to make changes to your device. It's on your own uh, convenience to prevent repetitive system prompts. This is what they're doing. They're actually warning you of the prompts that are going to be popping up on your system. So what we're going to do is close the browsers here and let the scan go. Now, theoretically, we've already run a registry cleaner on this system. So we should have nothing on the system that could be detected. But it will probably find something because that's what they're there to do is try to convince you that there's something wrong with your system. So we'll just let it run and then we'll take a look at this one. And it's sad to think that people are constantly asking questions about registry cleaners and there's articles everywhere all over the internet that still promote rubbish like this and tell people that they need it. Top five best registry cleaners, top 10 best registry cleaners. And there we go, 716 records can be removed. Cookies, browsing history and temporary internet files. Well, how is that? Because we haven't been anywhere. All we've done is just installed this application. If you click on clean, it's going to clean them. Click next and it will then say it can improve the system by doing this. And we're going to click next. And this is where they get you. 11 issues found on your PC. Unnecessary startup apps, outdated apps, outdated drivers and unnecessary background apps. And you've guessed it, you can't resolve these unless you click on resolve with a free trial. So if I click on this right here, it's going to say start your free trial. And guess what it's going to do? Nag the hell out of you until you buy it. And this is what they will do. And of course, older people that might not be so tech savvy or even younger people that might not be tech savvy will end up thinking that this is great. And of course, what they will do they will buy it because they will be bombarded with pop-ups saying your system is feeling a bit sluggish, run our program to speed up performance, all this sort of rubbish. And of course, this is what happens. So now you can see it wants you now to install another program. Install right here, bombarding you at the bottom here with a pop-up. And this is the old idea. It's just upselling all of the time. And they're all the same. They all do the same thing. They'll all uh, use Open Candy in their applications when you install them. And that's because they want you to install other software alongside what you're using here. And you'll probably get nagged to install a program like this, install driver updater. And there we've got another pop up down the bottom. And this is what happens all the time. And of course, there's loads of articles online that will promote this sort of stuff. And that's because they are affiliated with these companies because every time they get a sale, they get a kickback and they don't care. They are literally shills. They will make money off the back of these companies. And you can see the feature is available in Registry Cleaner Pro only. You guessed it. They want you to buy the Pro Edition if you want to clean up some of the features here. These are what we call paywall uh, stuff. You have to pay for it to clean it. So when I go through here, I'm going to check mark some of this stuff right here and we'll go ahead and we will run a scan on the system. So if you're watching someone else's videos or reading an article online and they are telling you that you will get more FPS, you will get a faster PC, they're lying to you. It's not going to happen uh, because these things don't do any of that stuff. So when you click on resolve here, it's found of again, you, as you guessed it, a few items here and we'll click on resolve and we'll see what it does here. And during the uh, cleanup process, we are now done. It's cleaned out 253 uh, problems or registry files as you will call it. And of course you've got boost speed 14 here to try and boost the system. Look at this garbage here. You've got SSD optimizer. We've got a bunch of other ones on here that you don't need. 
uh, on your system, but people still download and install them on the PC for some reason. And these should be illegal. They should be made illegal because they're no different to your tech support scammers. And you can see the internet has now gone out after running that previous cleaner there. It's just disabled for some reason. It was running some cleaning on internet and also firewall settings that might need a reboot. Uh, but yeah, like I said, these programs should be made illegal. They're no different to your PC tech support scammers because they are literally scamming people. They're, they're missending an item that is not fit for purpose. It doesn't make the system faster and it won't make your PC get more FPS. It's not going to fix any errors on the PC. I've never known any of these applications to fix a computer problem at all. They create more problems than they fix. Now, I've covered this topic before, but I thought it was important to bring it to people's attention, especially to new subscribers to my channel, that these things are literally just scams. So stay clear of them. They're not worth paying for and they're not worth running on your PC. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.